During our preparations for March, tragedy struck. My father ended up hospitalized due to complications with his diabetes, and I ended up having to take a step back to be there for someone who has been there for me my whole life. That being said, between then and now, something else surprising occurred. We got a package in the mail. So last month, Aaron Witchway and his family won the Empire's first ever quest with the invention of our newest cultural game, Resource. Now, seemingly out of nowhere, but somehow perfectly timed, they send us this package. The first thing in it was a letter. It says, Emperor AP, the following contains a manifest of sorts for various jewelry inspired by attorney and aesthetic and wearable game board design ideas we were inspired to create and hope you would enjoy to have. Contents were assembled by hand with care and intent to reflect the skill and effort you and Tiffany have placed into the development of your community throughout the years. May these add value to your nation's treasure. Then it goes on to describe the different items in the package. First, a red bag, which contains repurposed jewelry made of stone, pearl, and unidentified metals. Then, a pink bag with a simplistic plastic beaded bracelet, which can easily be produced for passing out to crowds. Next, the white bag with the pink string contains a necklace or pendant version of the game resource and uses magnetic beads to keep the token pieces in play. Then the green bags, which hold fancier beaded bracelets to pass out for smaller formal events and are relatively cheap but more time consuming to make. Then comes the blue bag, which has a bracelet or charm bracelet version of the game resource, which uses magnetic beads also to keep the charm or token pieces in play. Then comes the white bag with the blue string, containing repurposed jewelry made of stone and unidentified metals. Then the white bag, which contains repurposed jewelry made of unidentified metals and leather, as well the brown box, which contains repurposed jewelry made of unidentified metals, and the leather bag necklace, which is a prototype pirate version of the game resource. And then by far the largest item in the care package was the woven paracord travel resource game board, which can be worn as a sash and contains travel resource ring tokens all built into the singular design. They say this game board design consists of 16 snake knots woven to represent the year 12,016, having seen the establishment and dawn of Eternian history interspersed between seven spaces with two interwoven knots to each represent the effect and collaborative effort of both the Emperor and Tiffany throughout the years in various stages of Eternian development. And finally in the gold box, candy. Specifically Ferrero Rocher chocolates, which are great and we have thoroughly appreciated. I just want to make sure I say thank you so much to the Witchway family for sending us this. Aaron, you and your family have been a part of our community for just a short time now, but already you've made an incredible impact winning our first quest, sending us this, and I promise it's something that won't be soon forgotten. For the rest of our community, sharing instances like this is incredible for us because it means showing you how our community develops and specific highlighting points in our cultural development. This is something that will not only enrich our treasury, as Aaron said, but will also enrich us culturally, allowing us to go out to different events and celebrate our culture and explain our culture to people who may have never had any idea it existed. So this is a step toward further local legitimacy for us. This is something that really ties into our goals and efforts for this summer. We have been talking a lot this year about continuing development on Vite like we did last summer, but we haven't talked about how we're gonna connect to our local community like we did last summer. We haven't talked a ton about how we're gonna connect to our intermicronational community online, but all of those things will be unveiled in due time. We have a ton of projects in the works and a lot going on in our personal lives right now, but it means so much that each one of you stay and watch the channel even when we have to take time away and I am excited to update you all soon. Until next time, Eternia forever. See you guys. All right, here today we got AP challenging Jet Black, AKA Nick Benson, for the first time ever playing the resource game. Resource, playing resource, yep. So the way that it works, uh, we each have a game piece uh, that represents our resources. 
Uh, and so we have this cool bracelet, uh, which has seven individual magnets on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two dice and we roll the dice. And each time we roll the dice, whatever it lands on, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, They're on time. top of each other. Now battle. So this is the end game. Yep. Six. Three. Good game. Good game. Good game. Da, 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 da. AP one. Emperor AP. I get the resources, and now I'm going to put them back on the bracelet. Good game, Jack. Good game, good game. And that's the game resource. If I could put the bracelet on. We're getting a close-up shot of, of putting the bracelet on. on. It takes a village. 